Again, okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Toastmasters and friends. Uh, my name is Roger Satio, and it's such an honor for me today uh, to have the opportunity to share my experience when I was a become a timer. So a timer is a role that also also often forgotten by Toastmaster of the meeting, which in fact yesterday during one of my home club meeting. The Toastmaster of meeting forgotten to mention or to call for the timer's report twice, two times. Imagine that. So these timers, uh, role takers, sometimes are often forgotten. And you know, just to be honest, uh, oftentimes the VPE when they choose who's going to be the uh, timer, they often choose the newcomer, uh, new member. And so it makes seems it make it seem like okay timer is a very menial task and not important. But on the contrary, I believe timer is also one of the important role as important as general evaluator or language evaluator or toastmaster of the meeting. Okay, so let's rock it. What can we do to improve timer as a timer? I think I'll, today I want to emphasize on two things. The first one is the preparation, and the second one is uh, how to humanize our report. In every meeting, preparation is always the key. No matter what role you are, preparation is always the key. It is also the same case as a timer. So before the meeting begins, uh, as a timer, ask for the agenda hours before the meeting begins not minutes before the meeting begins. As for the agenda, confirm how many speakers will there be in the a meeting and how much time is allotted for each speakers, uh, for the prepared speech, for the table topics, just in case you have to confirm all the prepared speech uh, time because sometimes it has a, a, a difference in the project has a different allotted time. Uh, also for the evaluators, general evaluator, grammar and everything. Confirm it, look at the agenda. Ask for the agenda early hours before the meeting begins. Okay, now I want to I want all of you to unmute yourself for a while because a pop quiz. Just answer these questions correctly as fast as you can. Unmute yourself. And believe me, the one who can answer the most, you will be rewarded. I promise you, you will be rewarded. I'll send you some, I will, I'll give you something, okay? The quiz time. The first question, icebreaker speech. How much time is icebreaker speech? Up to seven minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two okay, two good minutes. job. Until five. What about standard prepared speech? Up to seven. Up to seven. 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 Okay, seven. Good job. seven minutes. Awesome. You guys are awesome. Table topics. One, one, two, one to two, two, two minutes. minutes. Good. Okay, everybody knows. Speech evaluators. Two, two, two minutes. Two until three. Exactly. What about other roles? GE and so on. Uh, uh, other things. You have to confirm that, okay? With the Toastmaster of the meeting, look at the agenda. Okay? Give yourself a round of applause. You get TV. Yay. 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 Of TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just send me your WhatsApp or email. I'll, I'll send you the TV, the picture. I mean, okay? Thank you. Good job for the participation. Okay, another thing. Yesterday, uh, also, I, uh, this thing just comes up to me. Come up to me is the timer. Uh, when you know, uh, in my club meeting, she didn't know that uh, you don't. Have, uh, it's not only plus thirty seconds, but the eligibility is also uh, minus thirty seconds from the minimum time allotted. For example, five to seven minutes speech is not only seven minute. Uh, seven minute thirty seconds uh, eligible is eligible to be voted, but. Four minutes and 30 seconds is also eligible because one of the prepared speech uh, did, ex uh, did the exact thing. So, uh, he, he delivered his speech in four minutes and 30 seconds and the timer said he is not eligible, which in fact it is eligible. So please take note of it, but that minus 30 seconds and plus 20 seconds is still considered eligible, okay? Now, I'll talk about a humanize our role. When I talk about humanize our role is this. Most of the time, when we are a timer, we think like it's just a small role. I'm not very important. I'm just gonna do it half-heartedly. The thing is this: when you are your as a timer, do something as intended for human being. For example, use a virtual background that is legible for the prepared speech or for the for the speakers. 
Imagine the speaker is very already very nervous to deliver his speech, and you add to another tension to the speakers by giving hard time to find which one is the timer or what is the uh, what one is the time cue. So help the time or help the speakers by using a legible, easy to see kind of you know a virtual background or whatever cue you want to use, but make sure it is easy to notice. Okay. Or sometimes you can just type it in the chat box just in case. So uh, there's a message pop out on the uh, chat to see, okay, you are red or you are green or you are yellow. Okay, just in case. Just do twice, uh, just two, two. Do two, just in case. Another thing is explain your role verbally. Well, because sometimes the VP choose a new, uh, new member to become the timer, they're having a hard time to explain what their role is. So try to be considerate or maybe as a VP, you can give the template or uh, which you can download it from Toastmaster website to the timer. Okay, this is the thing that you need to say. So let the timer practice her public speaking as well. Not only uh, doing the robot things, I'm a timer, uh, I'll time your time. Okay, thank you so much. I give it back to Tom. Well, we'll, we'll try uh, as, best, as best as we can to train the timer to be a, a public speaking a public speaker as well even though it's only a timer another thing is this is the thing that I often see uh, in meetings where the timer likes to type all the timers report in the chat box and when the Tom asks the timer to give the report he will always say I already type the report on the chat box uh, everybody is uh, eligible to be voted thank you please don't <laughs> uh, humanize a report. Do something uh, fun. Uh, do something encouraging. Uh, for example, thank you, Toastmasters Rudy, for your speech. Uh, I really, I, I really inspired by your speech, and uh, I really record your time. Your time is uh, six minutes and thirty-eight seconds, so you are eligible to be voted. So make it personal. Make it something fun. Okay. So please avoid this. Uh, coming to uh, the meeting unprepared. Don't do that. Okay. Always prepare. Using audible cue, imagine when you are delivering a speech and the timer says, uh, excuse me, you are green. Excuse me, you are yellow. That's very annoying, okay? Do not use audible cue or whatever uh, chime. Another thing is use object help on hand as cue. You want to use object on hand as cue, put it as close as possible on the camera. Don't use like, okay, I'm going to point one is green. Point two, uh, my fingers is yellow. Don't do that. It's not legible. Use a big thing, a big card to show it on the screen uh, near to your camera. Okay, the, th uh, the fourth thing is showing time while the speaker is talking. I'm talking is just a clock ticking. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes the timer used to use clock to show the timer, uh, to, uh, to show it to the speakers. I'm not saying that it's not, it's bad, but I think it's better for the speakers to practice, uh, to use, or not to use a uh, cue card, uh, not to use clock when it's uh, talking. Uh, just use a cue card to give a hint, okay? Okay, now, even though timer is a small thing, but like Martin Luther King Jr. says, if you cannot do great things, at least you can do small things in a great way. Thank you very much. I'll give it back to you, Harry. Well, you can't give it back to me because I'm actually having very dodgy internet connection now, but I'm back. And thank you, Toastmaster Setio. Can I just say that I was hoping that the prize would be you sending by go food or grab food, <laughs> some food, yeah, you're sure, in the food business, sure. please send it. Uh, we are always hungry in Bandung. We are always Come hungry in Bandung. I'll take you. <laughs> oh, I, first to Uchok, then to your place. Okay. <laughs> right, Thank let's see so some questions. Let's get some questions about the time is wrong. Would anyone like to ask any questions? Uh, hello. Yes, Fajar, go ahead. So, um, what are some ways to remind the speaker that they have spoken for a very long time? Uh, because last time I came to a meeting, uh, it was a Q&A uh, project. It's supposed to be maximum 20 minutes, but he spoke until 30 minutes. And the timer just only, only give red sign, but don't do anything. Maybe the, the speaker forget, or I don't exactly know. So how to remind in a polite way? 
Okay, if it's a Q&A session, I think it's easy. Just remind him, just, just tell the, the speakers, excuse me, John, uh, uh, your time is up. Uh, and I think, uh, can, we, can, you, can we just wrap it up? And it's easy because a Q&A session, it's, it's, it's easy for you to interrupt as a timer. Or you can ask the Tom, uh, Toastmaster of the meeting to interrupt as well, to remind the speakers, uh, excuse me, but your time is up by five minutes. Uh, can we just wrap it up? Uh, we, uh, you know, th those kind of things is, is, is possible. Just like what I'm going to do now. Yes, Halina exactly. has her red timer on. Exactly, uh, exactly that, like what Harry just did now. Okay? Well, there's, well, there's time for one more question. A quick question in one. Master Sohajo, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much, Harry. It was, it was lovely to have you here and talking about the timer slot. Fantastic. You've made it right.